All right. Hi guys. How's everybody doing? Um, so basically, I had no idea what I was going to make for dinner. And I had a bunch of ingredients. To be honest with you, I didn't know what I was going to make for dinner because I thought we were going out for dinner. But now the kids don't want to go out for dinner. A lot of times we go out for Mexican on Fridays. So now I'm trying to use some of the um, ingredients that I have in the house for my meal prep. So I decided I'm going to wing it and try to make fried rice. Um, I already have carrots prepped. I don't know if you remember. So I'm going to, I'm dicing the carrots. And by dicing, I mean just cutting. Um, I have some shelled edamame and I have, I wish I had some onions because what's fried rice without onions? But like I said, I'm winging it. So I'm dicing the carrots into tiny pieces like this, right? And I'm going to use like instant boil brown rice and I'm totally winging this. So it could end up being gross. I have no idea, but I'm going to give it a shot. And I'm going to make it in my cast iron skillet because I am obsessed with my cast iron skillet. So I'm getting the carrots cut up. Um, I don't know what you guys are making tonight, but I'm going to give you the recipe for this. So I'm just using carrots, shelled edamame. I wish I had some peas. Um but I don't, so it is what it is, I suppose. Um, and I have some soy sauce, I have some, my rice. Um, what are your thoughts? Should I put celery? Beautiful. Who just said I look beautiful? Girl, I'm wearing a hat on my head. Um. My cast iron skillet is from Cracker Barrel. Um, so I have some shelled edamame, which I love. And I have some soy sauce, right? Some butter, lots of carrots. And remember when I did the meal prep and I made the chicken? I only have three pieces left, so I'm going to put it in my... Fried rice. So my pan is hot. I'm going to put a little canola oil in. I'm not using olive oil because I have eggs. Yes. Because canola oil actually is better for stuff like this, I find. Um, I just realized um, I'm going to let that oil get hot. Now... I'm not going to add celery because I don't think celery is going to taste good in fried rice. Oh my God. My celery is flying out of my bag. How funny is that? I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I'm a little drunk. No, I'm not. That's not real. I'm a little tipsy. Um, you said Tuesdays. No, I'm not on Fridays. I'm just... Uh, I'm just on today because I thought, I don't know why. I thought it would be fun. Who knows? You don't have to watch if you don't want to. I just thought it would be fun to make um, um, fried rice together. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute these carrots. Here. See? So I'm going to saute the carrots and I'm going to cook the rice. Now, oh, chomping. Stop. Sorry. I just got yelled at. <laughs> um, while the carrots are cooking, I'm not going to put too many carrots in because my, my kids will be frustrated with me. What you doing, buddy? Daddy. So I am going to, mm, I'm going to dice the chicken because this is going to go in at the end. 
Um, and the chicken's already done, which is nice, because I don't really have to cook it. It can literally go in at the end. And I'm gonna put the egg in, I'm gonna beat the egg in right before it's done. Um, so because I don't want peas, I'm using edamame. Um, now what's missing is onion. And I think I have onion. The problem is that the only onion I have in the house is purple. And purple onion does not work for, um, for fried rice. It would taste disgusting. It's too sweet. You need white onion for fried rice, which I do not have. But that's fine because my kids don't really love onion anyway, so they're not going to be missing it. So just so you know, I dice the chicken into little pieces like this. And um, the carrot is cooking. My water is boiling, so I'm going to put my rice in the water. And that should only take about eight minutes. And once the rice is done, I'm going to transfer it into the skillet. The carrots are cooking, which is good because you don't want them too hard, you know? It's a red onion, right? Red onion. I don't think red onion would go. Let me look and see what I have. No. I, I think I only have red onion, and I don't think pur or purple onion, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, see, I only have purple onion, and purple onion does not work. Ooh, onion powder or flakes. Good call. I don't think I have any, though. Um, but I am going to put in just a little bit of garlic. Um, while that cooks, um, I'm going to put away the celery because we're all in agreement that the celery is not going to work. But this is what you have to do sometimes. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to make for dinner. And you look at the ingredients you have. If you've meal prepped, you want to try to use some of that. Um, but sometimes, you know, breakfast for dinner. What kind of things do you guys make on the fly? Um, fried rice should always be made with cold cooked rice. Listen, guys, I said I was making it on the fly. Okay. Um, what kind of things do you guys make on the fly when you guys are like trying to get it together because I feel like a lot of times we run out of options, you know? I'm only going to take one more bite of my carrot, I promise. Um, I don't really have style. I'm wearing the sports bra because I walked this morning. Um, I'm making chicken fried rice. Celery is great in fried rice? I am. I just put it away. Lovey, do you think celery is good in fried rice? No. You wouldn't know? That's not a good answer. I need to know. All right, so the carrots are cooking. They look good. I'm hoping that they'll soften up a little bit. I probably could have boiled them, but the goal is to try to figure out as much as I can do in the cast iron skillet. Um because I really like the skillet. I'm telling you, I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. Um, I'm gonna put some of this shell, shelled edamame in. And we don't eat edamame too often, although I do, but I love it. Um, my kids like it. I put it in salads a lot. Do you guys eat edamame? I love it. Drink your wine. Um, well, I know. Listen, you know what? It's Friday. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm home with my husband. I fully plan on touching his butt when we're done. So, what's one drink, right? Or two? What you doing, buddy? Um, anybody else drinking? Ooh, taco bowls are always great. Taco bowls are always a good choice. My chef, like hubby, says no celery. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm -mm. It's cooking. This takes forever. I just started. Okay, well, isn't it amazing how you're always hungry as soon as I start cooking? It's a good thing I'm cooking then. 
Anybody else's kids come into the kitchen while you're cooking and you're like, I'm starving. You're like, do you and Michael ever cook together? Yes. Michael and I do cook together. We did a lot more of it before we had kids though. I'll be honest with you. When Michael and I were just dating, when we were just like boyfriend and girlfriend, we cooked together all the time. It was a lot of fun. He used to make me this dish. Let me tell you, Michael used to make me this dish. It was pasta, angel hair pasta with the shrimp and lemon. And it was so good. And he stopped making it for me. I'm telling you, when you're when you have kids, it's so different. Well, it's only 624 here. And Michael picked them up from school today and gave them a snack. That's why they're, whoa, holy hot water in the eyeball. Now they're playing Monopoly, you wanna see? So I always keep, I try to keep healthy things around when, when I'm cooking. Like vodka. Ha! Huh. All right, you wanna see this? Come here. Um, so this is just garlic, a little oil, edamame, and carrots. Now I want to tell you that honestly I wish I had white onion and green peas. Um, I wish I had onion and green peas. So if you're making fried rice and you're really putting the ingredients together, you want to have white onion and green peas. I don't have white onion. I only have purple onion. And I don't think purple onion would be good in rice. I think that would be gross. Um, I wish I had peas, and I only have canned peas, and I don't think that's going to taste very good. So I'm going to go with edamame and carrots. I have chicken. All the chicken is cut up in small pieces. You see, I diced the chicken. Tastes delicious. The rice is in the water. Um, and I would say the rice is gonna be done in just a few minutes. Are you fixing a side? Hmm, I didn't think about it. But I do have um, more vodka. <laughs> um, all right guys, don't freak me out about the soy, okay? Please. I don't have green onion. Let me see. Um, I have sesame seeds, which I love. Um, no. Yes, I need three hundred. I don't have it. I don't have it, so it is what it is. But I am gonna add eggs. I have the eggs ready. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that in a second. Listen, let me tell you about vodka. Do never be mad about vodka. Oh, you know what, Olivia, can you get me, get me you know what, can you get me a can of corn out of the pantry, please, baby? Thank you, sweet girl. No, just regular canned corn would be wonderful. Thank you, honey. I'm gonna add some corn to this. Is this corn good? Okay. Um, that's perfect. Thank you, my love. So I'm gonna open a can of just a just a can of corn. And do I call Michael Lovey? Yes, I call Michael Lovey. My grandmother and grandfather, who were married forever. Um, my grandmother called my grandfather Lovey, and it was just a name that I called Michael and it stuck and he's lovey all the time so hey no threatening your sister I don't like that all right so I know peas are good in rice the problem is that I only have canned peas and I don't think they'll be good I think they'll be mushy I'm gonna add the corn last so it doesn't get mushy but I think it's gonna end up being delicious. It smells good, the garlic really smells good. All right, so I'm gonna take the rice out of the bags. Watch this. I'm gonna drain the rice. Let me see if you guys can see me. 
Um, well, my favorite drink is a mimosa, but if I drink three mimosas, you know how many calories are in three mimosas? It's not necessary. So let me drain the rice. I'm draining the rice. rice in here and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Woo, that's hot. Just going to cut that. Put it in here. Okay, there's one. I'm going to do two, which is probably too much rice, but I'm Italian and we always over, ow, I just got it in my eyeball. This is why I'm not on the Food Network, folks, because I get it in my eyeball. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the rice up with the edamame and the carrots and get that good garlic flavor that I was just telling you about. Hold on, I'm going to show it to you in a second. Let me just get it mixed up, and then I'm going to add the corn. Okay, wait till you guys see this. I'm telling you, I'm winging it. There's no recipe here, so just so you know... I don't really know what the recipe is other than I'm just uh, making it up as I go along. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper because who doesn't love salt and pepper? Hold on. And then I'm gonna show it to you because I think you guys are really gonna think it looks cool. Kosher salt is the best. Pour it in your, see, too much came out. So always pour it in your hands and uh, Toss a little over your shoulder. Hiya! And I'm gonna get some pepper. Some pepper. Right? All right, we got the pepper. Don't tell Michael, but I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic. All right. Smells delicious. Now I'm gonna add. A little tiny bit of butter. I'm not gonna forget the eggs, I promise. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter because butter and fried rice adds a little bit of riches, a little richness to it that I think, you know, there's something delicious about butter. I'm sorry, but there just is. Um, not too much. I mean, not even a whole tablespoon. And I'm gonna mix it up now. I'm gonna get it good and mixed up here. Oh, it smells delicious. I'm gonna show it to you. Hold on. Don't fight, guys. Okay, so the butter is now melted. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna actually, what I'm gonna do now, believe it or not, is I'm gonna add an egg. I'm just gonna crack an egg right in the middle. I'm gonna make a hole in my rice so the pan is exposed. And I'm gonna crack an egg, which I can do with one hand because I'm awesome, but I'm gonna use two just in case, okay? I'm gonna show it to you. Hold on, here I come. Hold on. Hold on, that was gross. All right. Watch this. See that egg? I'm just gonna keep mixing it, but it's on the heat there, so it's gonna it's gonna cook pretty quickly. Okay? Don't worry about the egg. Some people may be thinking, "Oh my gosh, you put raw egg in there," but I promise you, it cooks very quickly. As a matter of fact, I might put two in. Um, cause that's a lot of rice. So I think I'm going to put one more egg in there. Um, and this is how it'll go. Cause egg, there's something delicious about egg and fried rice. I'm sorry. There just is. Um, no, not only one egg. Y'all give me a second. Whoa. Holy smokes, you guys are loud. No, you see what happened. Let me tell the story to 
You don't have to tell the story. I'm cooking. Right right now. No, I'm cooking right or now. Can I tell you? Well, not right now because I'm cooking. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stir up the egg. Here we go. Yes, I have chicken. No, I'm not putting bacon in here because I don't eat bacon. Hold on. You need this egg to cook because eggs, when they are not cooked, can be very watery. So I'm going to let that cook for a second. Um, we love eggs. We're not, we are not scared of eggs. So the egg is cooking now and I'm mixing it up. You want to make sure that the egg really cooks because nobody wants to eat raw egg. That's disgusting. So I'm going to keep mixing this up and then right before it's done, I am going to add the chicken because the chicken is cold. I'm going to put the chicken in now. And I'm not adding a ton of chicken, just about two or three tenders that have been diced up. Um, but it looks great. And it's almost done. I'm going to add some soy sauce in just a second. Not too much because I don't like it too salty. But. It's going to be delicious. Um, so again, I made, I just made this in my head. I don't really have a, uh-oh, it's coming out of my pan here. Um, I don't really have a recipe per se. I just used whatever vegetables I had in my house. And I did some um, eggs, some chicken. You know what? I should put, well... This is good enough, I think. So now I'm gonna add some soy sauce. I just have some soy sauce. Yes, I have soy sauce, which needs to be open. Brand new, mmm, smells like, reminds me of sushi as soon as I smell it. All right, so I'm gonna put some soy sauce in here. Smells delicious, ooh, there's something about adding soy sauce. When it cooks, it smells so good. And it looks like we are done. Um, again, there's not a recipe for this, but I'm going to take a picture of it and post the ingredients that I use and sort of just tell you how I did it. That's the beauty of this is we sort of wing it as we go along. And I can just tell you how I did it. I don't have sesame oil, I don't think. Um, it's not typically something I keep in the house. Um, but let me taste it. Mm, so good. So good. Uh, I'm going to add some sesame seeds. Because who doesn't love sesame seeds? I do. And... Other thing I'm gonna add. Do people keep sesame oil in their house? Um, now I know that I. Well. Anyway, all right. So I added some sesame seeds. Here is what it looks like now. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna serve it up. And uh, why so little chicken? I don't know. Good question. I could probably add some more chicken. Probably wouldn't kill me. Um, but I just want to let you guys know that it is delicious. Um, I will post the recipe. I'm going to add a little more soy sauce because I don't have onion. Olivia, 100 bucks is exciting, girl. I know, but a hundred bucks is still exciting. Don't hate on the boy because he's excited about his money. Um, and yes, I'm a taster, and yes, I double dip, and I don't care if you don't like it. Because they're my kids. 
So, um, this is brown rice, but I would have used white. I don't care. Mm. It's delicious. I used um, just brown rice, boil in a bag. So, I'm going to take a picture and post the recipe of the ingredients that I used. But we're going to make all kinds of great stuff in this cast iron skillet. As long as we have vodka, we are on our way, folks. I love you guys so much. And this is our main dish for tonight. Have a great day. Night.